Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets. Today, looking at another lambic or sour uh, that I'm going to share with my buddy Casper, who's behind the camera. This is sent, was sent to me. I feel like I've been saying this a lot now. This was sent to me, but <laughs> I've gotten a few beer marines lately, and I need to clear them out because I also have some stuff of my own I want to drink. But this should be nice. This is from BelgiumInABox.com, and this is one of the beers that was sent to uh, during my 1,000th beer review. Uh, thang. This is the Bizart is a beer that Ud Basel does, and it's made especially for a company called Bizart. I can't remember if it was a restaurant or what it was. Sorry, guys, but um, it was made especially for them, and they tried to make a champagne-style lambic, uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, and this is the 2007 edition, which is an Ud Oud Goose. And I have the 2008 as well, which is made with cherries, a creek. Now it's an 8%, so that's pretty big for a sour, but that's the whole champagne edition. I think it has some champagne yeast in there. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. And they've got a... I'm not entirely sure, because I couldn't find much info on it, and all that I could find was in Belgium, so... <laughs> but, um... Yeah, it's got a funny description here about how you should store it and keep it away from light and have it lying down, but I've had it... Yeah standing up because that's how I usually store my beer. Usually you say don't lay beer down but let's get this opened. So we got the 2007 Bizarre Eau de Gruza poured and that cork just popped out of there and here it is with an insane amount of carbonation. It really looks like a champagne. I don't think you can see it on the camera. Maybe you can. Is it out of focusing? <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, but it's got a lot of carbonation is streaming like crazy. Big fizzy like two and a half fingers of a white head and it's like that traditional uh, golden yellow slightly orange color so aroma on it, I can smell it already this is probably the goose I've smelled with the most white grape wow it's got a lot of white grapes and a lot of the dry, I can definitely see the the, the uh, similarity between this and a champagne or a sparkling wine because it's got that same intense white grape kind of dry uh, Brut Champagne, uh, the, the Bruts are the dry ones and the Cava are the sweeter ones. I'm probably saying it dead wrong. Uh, and that's, I'm not even sure if that's right terminology, but I think that's what my dad used to say. But a lot of that dryness, a lot of sweetness too, a lot of sweet malt, definitely crisp wheat as well. Um, not too much funk, it's, it smells quite sour. It's, it does have some subtle funky notes. Green apple, tart green apples, but man, oh, and a little bit of cantaloupe or honeydew melon, and a little bit of peach. A lot of white stone fruits, but this is probably the most white grape for beer I've had. Yeah, let's give it a one to taste, guys. Cheers. Wow, that's busy. That's the most carb. It's actually not that sour. But it's not the most. Uh, it's probably the most carbonated lime I've had. And intention-wise, I guess it works, because they tried to make a Lambic-style champagne. And that's dead on. It's got a lot of carbonation, really fizzes up your mouth, and makes the mouth feel, feel very light. And, well, <laughs> fizzy. Flavors, though. Much more funk in the flavor. I'm picking up a lot of that uh, white grape, for sure, still. It has that fizzy, dusty uh, funk, the old celery funk. Slight, um, slight cheesy almost. Peaches are there too with a lot of tart green apple, the pale stone fruits, but it's got this, it's very dry too. It's definitely got the dryness of a champagne and the sparkling essence of it. I can see the whole idea behind this and it's, it's worked in that sense, it's really worked. Um, I really like the, oh, and the breadiness too, a crisp kind of breadiness, or crisp, it is very crisp too because of the carbonation, but definitely a wheaty, bready flavor. The tartness is a medium tart or sourness. It's not too intense. I guess as a beginner goose, you could actually drink this. It's not uh, too sour in that sense or too funky. And it's it will definitely appeal for the crowd who likes champagne or sparkling wines for New Year's. You could definitely do something like this because it's probably one of the closest beers I've had that is closest to champagne because it's got the dryness and slight tartness. It's really good. That said, it's not the best lambic I've had or goose I've had, but I'm digging it. I think it's a really cool concept. I'm looking forward to be trying the creek, which is probably going to be something like a rosé, sparkling rosé or something. Who knows? We'll see. But rating-wise, for the Pizzat, or Oud Beersel Pizzat, Oud Goose from 07, 
I'm gonna go 83 on this one. It's quite nice. Not up there with the best of the best, but it's actually a really nice uh, goose. Definitely worth checking out if you can, guys. It's it's pretty cool the idea of mixing or making champagne styles uh, lime bakes because they are already already kind of vineyards and it is quite vineyards. Oh, and also some oaky flavors. I completely forgot that, but yeah, guys, this is, and the eight percent you can't taste it. Definitely let me know what you think of the Bizarre or the Goose limited edition from 07 if you had it. As always, guys, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.